Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to wish everybody who's a mother out there Happy Mother's Day. Also, single men. Those are a lot of um, times they're overlooked because single men also serve as mothers. I know I had a father who raised me. He's like a single father mom. Um, and then my mom herself, who I love dearly and adore. So happy Mother's Day to her. My grandmother, happy Mother's Day to my grandma, Gigi. Um, I'm blessed, my dad's blessed, to still have his mom uh, with us, so we're grateful for them. Happy Mother's Day also to my mother-in-law and my sister-in-laws. Uh, well, my sister-in-law, not my sister-in-laws. Uh, my sister-in-law and my sister, Lindsay. Um, happy Mother's Day to all of you. And then as well as all you viewers and subscribers and friends and aunts and, you know, everybody else. Happy Mother's Day to you. Um, I just thought I'd share my outfit of the day with you guys, and I'll share with you several of the beautiful things that I got um, from my daughter. This envelope, which came home from her school with her on Friday, it just says Happy Mother's Day, love Eva on it. And it was sealed and I did not open it until this morning. And inside there was a beautiful card, it's backwards I know, and it says um, Happy Mother's Day from Eva and she colored it. And then this beautiful picture, which I wanna take to my office and hang on my bulletin board because I think it's so pretty. And then this, which uh, with a little My Fingerprints in her picture, and it says, My Fingerprints, sorry for the fingerprints I leave on all the walls. They start out in the kitchen and travel down the halls. They end up in my bedroom. They follow because they sneak. I don't know how they can do that because I washed my hands last week, <laughs> which is so funny because my husband's always complaining about our children and how dirty their hands get and we're very um, kind of anal about our walls and like our floorboards being dirty. So I'm always cleaning walls and fingerprints off of walls. And they do end up down the hallway and in the bedrooms and you're like, wow, how, how did that happen? Um, food like Jello, they eat it. I put them, I'll sit them at my breakfast table for them to eat something messy. And I try to contain it there and wash their hands when they get up and somehow it still ends up down the hallway and in their bedrooms, it's crazy. So. It's a full-time job, isn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, let me share with you guys what I'm wearing and then I'll tell you what I have on my face. I have no idea what my husband's doing in the garage. We're getting ready to leave to go have uh, like a late lunch, but yeah, <laughs> some noise is going, coming out of the garage. I know I've worn these skirts before. I absolutely love them. They are my absolute favorite things to wear out of everything, including blue jeans. I adore my skirts more than anything. Um, this is from the Spiegel catalog. They have just kind of the perfect pencil skirt. It's This one is like a cotton, but they have them in all different kinds of fabrics. And this is a dark, like an eggplant. Well, it's not eggplant. It's like a grape purple. Um, the only thing I dislike is that. Like you can see right here where my shirt ends and then that last button pops out it doesn't look too great and the only way that I know how to combat that is with a, a nice what's it called a pair of Spanx or slip like a slip if you put it on you know on top um, it, it kind of does that but sometimes it still pops out so that is my skirt it's pretty high-waisted and then long I like my pencil skirts to come down to below my knee I think when you do a pencil skirt below that, it elongates you. If it was up here, you could see how it cuts me in half. Like it, it doesn't make me look as tall um, than when it's really, really long. So there's that. My heels, my normal Jessica Simpson um, black patent pumps that I wear all the time. Anytime I dress up, I wear these shoes. I love them. I think they're the greatest things. Um, and then this blouse, which is just from Target. It's got these pretty flowers on it, and I love it. It pairs nicely with this skirt as well as several of my other um, like turquoise colored skirts, but I thought it was, it was pretty, and it's one of the only floral pieces that I wear because it's the only one that I like. It's kind of, you know, this white breaks it up with the white collar. It breaks up some of the pattern a little, um, which to me is what I need in order to wear floral because I really can't stand the look of floral in general, so um, it breaks it up enough to where I can, I can wear it. Um, and then just my normal rings, my fifth anniversary wedding ring, my watch, and then my earrings, which are my Tory Burch tees. These were my Mother's Day present from my um, husband and my kids. And then on my face, I've got a Chanel 
Um, the eyeshadow quad in Mystic Smokes, which I absolutely love. I put it away and then pull it out all the time because it's like a hidden gem that I forget about for two or three months and then find again. And lately I've just been so stuck on the Urban Decay palette that this is like a, an awakening. It's just so beautiful. On my cheeks I've got a Max Dolly Mix, a little bit of Max Angel lipstick, and I do have falsies on, so they're on my lids. They're the um, Ardell Demi Wispies, the 110s, and that is it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Mother's Day, like I said, and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.